Before we actually start the video, guys, your boy is teamed up with Fortnite. If you go over to the item shop and at the bottom right corner, it says support a creator. Click on that and you type in your boy's name, exotic motion underscore YT. You guys are going to be hooking your boy up. Take a picture of this right here or this picture of this right here with the top right. Tweet it to me and I will be giving you guys free V-Bucks. I'm doing a giveaway. Everyone that retweets this or tweets it out to me, I will be picking a winner once a week to give free V-Bucks. Got that wet wet, got that ginger, got that super soak, got that that she a fifi, honey, kiki, she get me. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bunch of Printing Guys, another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my keybinds. For anyone out there that's starting out with PC or you want to use mouse and keyboard on PS4, console, Xbox, it doesn't matter. If you guys want to learn keybinds, these are the best keybinds that I found for me. Now, keep in mind that I'm not saying if you use my keybinds, you'll become a pro. Everyone has their preferences. So if you guys don't like a certain thing that I do, it's okay. Make it what you like and adjust to it. But you guys can actually get... But for those of you guys that have been requesting this, I've had this request for a long time. I've been on PC. I think for like maybe three or four months now and I have not yet done a keybind video for you guys and that's just because keybinds are really personal preferences but I get requested this so many times so I'm gonna give you guys my keybinds and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I have it like that so as you guys can see I have my weapons as Q E two three and four now the reason i have it like this set up like this is like two three and four instead of one is because i just prefer having q and e i love a lot of people have q and e as their building material now in my opinion i think q and e would be really good for building but the reason i got used to this is because of the double pump because if you guys look on the keyboard q and e are right next to each other so you're just using two different fingers and that's what you want to keep in mind back then the double pump was a thing so i like to do the q E is another double pump. Again, these weapons are really up close and personal weapons. So once you get in a gunfight with somebody, you want to be able to switch to the other one extremely quick. So say, for instance, I take a shot with the pump shotgun and I want to finish them with the SMG. I can go ahead and switch insanely quick over to the SMG just because the way that my Q and E are so close to each other, I'm just used to switching these two extremely easy, guys. I mean, look at how quick you can switch it. You can also run forward. You can do everything. You can switch, sprint forward. As long as you're using these three fingers you're able to do all three things now that's why some people actually like doing that when building so that way they can actually open up their mats and do this while building like that but i have my my building mats on my mouth now that's just something i got used to a lot of people will have their double pump over here so they can switch through the weapons like that but i don't like that for some reason i'm used to q and e as my shotgun and my smg follow-up and then number two i have as my assault rifle now number two is a little weird because if you guys notice you can you have to stop running if you want to switch to your assault rifle so you have to stop push two and then push w unless you want to use your pointy finger which i don't do to actually reach to two which is it feels extremely awkward you can do that but what i do is i usually run and then i'll jump push two while i'm in the air so that way i can keep the momentum and if I want to switch, because you want to constantly be jumping anyway, so I'll just constantly just switch while I'm in the air. So if I ever want to do it, I'll just jump in the air or something like that. And that's how it's done. So again, you can easily do it like this. You can literally just sit here, push two. You'll get used to it more often with two being it. It is a little weird just because, again, I know people that just move over. They're like, how do you switch to your AR? You have to stop running, switch, and then do it. It, it. it does feel weird, but the more you get used to it, the more you'll be used to just jumping all the time. And then as you're jumping all the time, I mean, you can always just switch weapons like this. Every time you jump you switch weapons and then the faster you get you can actually switch like multiple weapons while you're in the air so you can go that was a three switch in the air and then three i have as my sniper rifle just so that way i can quickly if i'm if i'm melting somebody say for instance i'm down here and i just shoot them i can switch quickly to my ar and try and finish it if it just gets a hit marker and then the last but not least is four i have four as my medic my heels any type of heels or anything like that that's what i have it as and then the builds are completely different now i know i, I can show you guys in the settings exactly what it looks like so you guys can pause it screenshot it i'll show you guys that at the end but i want to give you guys an explanation of why i'm doing this why i have my keybind set that way now a lot of people see that my pickaxe is T and that's weird. Most people have their pickaxe as one. I just got used to T being my pickaxe just because I don't like really using my, my ring finger because I'm not as like coordinate with my ring finger as my pointy finger. I could do anything with my pointy finger. This is like my dominant finger. Out of all five fingers, I think my pointy finger is the most dominant. So I like to control as much things as I possibly can with using my pointy finger. So that way I actually click on it instead of just clicking on something random. It's all muscle memory, really. It is a pretty far stretch. That's why I said if you guys do not not like T, go ahead and switch it to one. It's really up to you, personal preference. I'm just so used to using T, so that's just what I use. And then if you guys want to build, let me show you guys. So opening up your mats, as you can see, you push G to edit anything. 
I use G just because it, it, it is a far stretch, but again, it's quick, it's easy, I'm used to it. So now again, a good editing preference to practice is go ahead and set up a little ramp like this where you have a wall, stair, wall, stair is supposed to be here, and then a wall, stair. Something like this, so that way you guys can actually practice and let me show you the editing technique that you want to do. If, if you want to practice on seeing what you're good with at editing, I like G just because it's 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 my pointy finger. Again, I like using my pointy finger. I can still run with my middle fingers running. I can use this to go left or right and then I use G sometimes just to edit. So I definitely prefer G, it's, it's quick, it's easy. But you could do a, a little technique like this, a little course. You can make it as long as you want and you could just practice stuff like that, you guys probably the best way to practice how to edit and stuff like that and how to get good at it you guys have seen me do this before in the past it is the best way to practice your edits so if you guys are on pc and you want to learn how to do stuff this will help you practice your edits oops now I'm back on building, as you guys can see, I have rotate material as the right click on the mouse. Most people have it as R, but honestly, if, if you wanna rotate your material, you're usually gonna rotate your material more than you're going to switch material. Just because in the settings, they already have auto material change. So as you guys can see, let me drop all my wood. So if I have like 20 wood, I can only put two woods and then it'll automatically switch to brick without me having to do anything. So there's no reason for me to switch material. So that's why I don't care to have the right click as a material, I'd rather rotate like that. So that way it's a little Little bit easier to do things so say for instance you have a frost trap and you want to put it down quick you can go ahead and switch your stairs just double tap with your right finger and it's a lot easier than stretching it out it's just easier to use everything on the mouse in my opinion put down the trap switch back to your stairs and then you can do it like this just like this so that's why i think it's probably the easiest thing to do easiest tactic is to just have the rotate on the uh, right mouse key. That's just a personal preference. Again, a lot of this is personal preference, but you guys wanted to know mine. And then next up, I have my walls as my top mouse. I have two keys on the side of my mouse. My walls is the top part of the keys, and then the bottom part is my stairs. And then I use C as the floor and then I use the middle mouse as the pyramid. So that way it's a little bit easier. So now the reason I'm using C and middle mouse is because I used to have like C and four as my pyramid, like four would be my period pyramid, but you never want to do C and four because the reason is, is someone is above you. You want to go ahead and do this. You want to be able to switch through them extremely quick. You want to go ahead and put them down extremely quick, basically simultaneously. So you spam it. Now, if you're doing C and four, you, you don't want to keep any of the builds on the same fingers. And the reason this is, is because it takes time. Like if I did C and four, I'd have to move all the way up to four and then move all the way back down to C. So it's a big stretch and it takes some time. So you never want to have any of your building materials using the same finger, unless it's your thumb on your mouse, because those keys are literally right next to each other. So as you guys can see, building allows me to be able to do the uh, double ramp, double floor, double wall pretty fast. I can literally full sprint and do it. It is a lot of just wiggling back and forth and then just spamming, but you can still get it done. I know my keybinds are a little bit different than pros out there, but you guys can see, I can still do the little Tfu four layer wall ramp rush, which basically is a ramp floor ramp wall, ramp floor ramp wall. And you basically do this all the way up. all the way to the top. But now that I explained to you guys why I have my keybind set the way that I do, let me show you guys exactly what they look like. So as you guys can see, so here are my keybinds. You guys can go ahead and pause it, take a picture if you want. I'm just gonna go through this quickly. I'm not literally gonna read every single one. I'm just gonna scroll extremely slow. So that way you guys can actually see what you need to do. Take a picture of it. I'm going in sections, so that way it's I'm not missing anything out. But you guys can get the gist of it, of what exactly I have as my keybinds. Um, it, it, it's something that I'm comfortable with. It's something that I like. Again, everyone's keybinds is set to their own personal preferences. Don't roast me in the comment section below. I enjoy my keybinds, and I made this video for all the people that asked because a lot of people asked me, "Yo, Motion, what's your keybinds on PC?" I just moved over to PC, and I want to show show the people. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you're practicing on PC, it does take some time to get used to. You're not going to be able to get it extremely fast just because it's, it is a little difficult to get used to. But once you get used to it, man, I promise you guys, you guys are going to love it. Another good editing practice technique, you guys, if you want to practice with editing, is to build yourself a little layer where it's just a floorboard and a stair. And you go all the way up to as high as you but basically can go or until you run out of mats. 
And you can literally just sit here and edit your way down and practice this. Oh, it's a little buggy right now. Oh my gosh, it's really buggy right now. There we go. I guess it's where you stand on the floor. And you can literally do that all the way down just to practice your little your little editing skills. But guys, with that being said, that is the end of the video. If you guys please can give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.